Joseph in California. Go ahead, Joseph. Brother, and I've been a listener five years now. Love you guys. And I was at the historic day with Alex on the ground, an inauguration day at 120. Unbelievable sight. Incredible. But I want to bless you guys in Jesus' name and tell the listeners, the war is on. The war is going with these pedophiles and their satanic master who will be thrown in the fire. He's a joke, the Lord of the Flies. And we call him out now with millions of us listening. Father, we call him out. Soros, Brzezinski, Hillary Clinton, your days are numbered. Repent. Follow Jesus. Forget this worthless liar, this Satan who you follow. Your days are numbered. Millions of us are rising with you, Holy Spirit. Father, you're rising us, awakening humanity, and we will defeat this evil on this land. Strength is with us, and strength is with, is with Alex and the boys here. Your Holy Spirit is with us. Your blood is covering us. These demons can't touch us from you, Soros. We're in your face now. We're dominating you, and we're praying every day for Alex. A lot of us, millions of us, and you're with us, Father. And if you guys need a fresh touch from our Lord, a healing touch, come to the ministry page that we have. Shekinah River Ministries is on Facebook. S-A-T-K-I-N-A-H River Ministries. He will bless you. He will. He's real. Jesus is moving today. He's with us in spirit, and we will defeat these people. They cannot touch us. The banker from Holland who came out and admitted these pedophile rituals, we know it. David Icke, he's broken the news with these demonic fallen angels. They are worthless. Tom Horn and Timothy Alberino and, and Quail, unbelievable work with these giants that supposedly are here, and they're doing good work. A whole generation, a whole company of us is rising with Jesus. He's opening the eyes, and this Entity, Satan, cannot touch us. But with Trump, unbelievable what's going on in our nation. Unbelievable. I'm 30 years old, never seen this incredible breakthrough. The whole country, just a massive breath of prosperity is here. It's unbelievable. Wow. I'm so what? happy for you guys. I'm praying for you guys. Thank you so You're much. so good, brother. Thank, no, yeah, that was an amazing call. What a great call from Joseph. Harrison, you had something to say. Uh, yeah, this is going back to the caller just before that, uh, real quick. Um, he was talking about uh, Antifa and, and the fa that the fascists take the guns first. And uh, this is a quote I heard recently. You can actually go to that, uh, that computer. Um, and I just thought I'd share it because I just thought it was such a great quote. This is Stalin. Ideas are more powerful than guns. We would not let our enemies have guns. Why should we let them have ideas? I thought that was... Uh, Pretty good. It tells you what fascism uh, really is. and uh, You know, I have a feeling that Stalin would probably not want Ann Coulter or Milo to speak in his country either. <laughs> I, I think they would be in a gulag a in, uh, in the tundra somewhere, you know, laying railroads. That was, just, that was just a great last caller, and he's so right about the work that's put in by all those people. And, you know, it's wild on the surface. You, you see some of the stuff that you know, Steve Quayle puts out or that David Icke puts out, and it really gets taken way out of context and way out of proportion. If you actually go watch their documentaries, it's, they, they I mean, folks, they document the stuff they talk about. I'm not saying that um, I, I believe in all the stuff that they talk about, but, I mean, they document facts. They document history. They, they have stuff that's irrefutable um, that's also very powerful. And I was actually really looking forward. I was hoping to be able to talk to Steve Quayle tonight. Uh, unfortunately, he was unable to join me. Uh, but I watched his documentary stuff, and um, just really awesome stuff, really awesome work uh, that he's doing, really um, intriguing and awesome stuff. Um, do you guys have anything to say before we do the final push out? Just a little preview of what's coming up. We have the uh, Flat Earth with Eddie Bravo that has disappeared off the Internet. Oh, we're playing the flat earth? We're playing the flat earth. Dude, I'm telling you this, man. I, I'm telling you this. All right, we don't have enough time. That's enough of the plug. They can find out what they want to watch. We won't give them too much. Minutes. But I'm telling you this, Marcos. 
I, it used to be, you know this, when I first started here, it was, you're a white male, you're a white male, right? I was the guy, right? I was the you're a white male guy. Now I'm the flat earth guy. I am now the InfoWars flat earth guy because of that interview. And I don't even believe in the flat earth. I just, I just talked about it. I'm just an open-minded person that was having an open-minded conversation with Eddie Bravo about it, listening to what he has to say about Flat Earth. I don't think he believes it either. No, he does. No, he does. No, he does. No, I he's just saying. Eddie. No, he's just saying every time. I'm just saying. No, dude, I, I, I talked to Eddie. I'm telling you, he believes it. We've had, he doesn't believe in dinosaurs. He thinks NASA's totally fake, which NASA puts out a bunch of BS. Don't get me wrong on that. That's a huge red pill that a lot of people are yet to swallow how much BS comes out of NASA. And you know what? We might find out secrets about this planet and this existence that aren't exactly as we prove it. Um, but it is crazy to see how there's all these sects, you know, flat earth and all these different sects of people that are kind of becoming red pill online. Hey, we got to sign off. Please go to InfoWarsTore.com. Look at these ridiculous specials. 30% off Brain Force, 20% off Seeker 12, 20% off Knockout, 20% off Winter Sun, 20% off Prostagard, BioPCA 20% off, Bomb Defense P uh 20% off. Living Defense, 20% off. DNA Force, back in stock. Groundbreaking products, folks. I mean, how many other... I can't... I, I love talk radio because I get to talk to people and I get callers like the callers we had here tonight. And they thank us. They thank us for the products. Just, just awesome. Just awesome. And thank you guys out there for supporting us by going to InfoWarsStore.com. Launch us to the next level. Take us to the next level. Make these guys work even harder. Give them more money. We sign off. The best of the 30-hour special on the other side. Rob Dew returns live, 7 a.m. Central. Who did the DNA test? So for me, unless I've seen it myself, I'm going to be open to the idea that is is it was it a hoax? Was it a scam? Let me look at the evidence. But the, the guy who puts it together the best is a guy named Eric Dubé. You can go to our YouTube and he's got a, a a video called Dinosaurs Don't Exist. Eric Dubé breaks it down. He goes through the timeline, the history of dinosaurs, and it's it's pretty crazy. Well, I it's am going to... Open here. It'll crack your head open. I'm going to put the call out right now to anyone that works at a museum or any of you dinosaur uh, scientists, anthropologists. Let us come. We would, Eddie Bravo and I would like to come and see the T-Rex skull, the real one, not the plaster cast that's in the museum. If you want to just debunk this uh, conspiracy theory. And how do you know it's a real dinosaur bone, though? I want well, you to okay. touch it. Cause, cause I, was just, I, was, I want I you to feel it. The, I was telling you, I was in the, I was in the <laughs> Chicago Museum of Natural History and Science, <laughs> and they had, I mean, they had real bones. They said the, it's rare. It's a traveling exhibit. Most of them are fake. But when they have the real bones, they say, oh, these are real. We're having this enclosed, you know, we travel, whatever. But okay, I understand what you're saying. I'm not going to argue because I didn't do the DNA test. That, that, you know, Tyrannosaurus rex femur bone could be a <laughs> whale tail bone. I don't know. So I, I, I understand what you're saying. It would come down to, okay, you're doing the DNA test. I guess, again, you have to choose whether that even exists now. And maybe your conspiracy theorists don't think the DNA test even exists. Maybe <laughs> DNA doesn't even exist. It's like, where do you stop? But I, I, I can't. That's, that's a good point. But for DNA, real, I mean, where DNA do you does stop? Not exist. Where do you stop when you go down? So at some point, I feel like you have to trust science down the road. But you don't, perhaps, like what you're saying, Why, is though? trust. We well, yeah. don't have to trust yeah, the people that are life? telling you the results. Yeah. Okay. Well, then on that, then because here's the other thing: is uh, my my brother-in-law works for NASA, and so he's gonna let me go and go through the whole facility and everything. I don't get you're to go nice. into the alien NASA. room or whatever. He's but so not, that I can he, like he butts head with that. So that we can once and for all debunk this flat earth theory, but maybe we won't debunk it. I don't know because this flat earth thing became super popular here in the last 2 years, right? Where people well, are really popular extremely popular smart. 5 years ago it was huge. Well, yeah. <laughs> people, people are like extremely smart putting out all of this information to explain this flat earth. So where do you stand on it? Well, when I first heard about Flat Earth, it was probably like a year and a half ago on Joe Rogan's podcast. I was, we were talking about something, and then Joe Joe's, was trying to explain how dumb people are. And goes, dude, there's people <laughs> that still believe the Earth is flat and the sun is 3,000 miles away. And I remember, this is like a year and a half ago. I'm a grown-ass, I was in my 40s. Balls deep in conspiracies my whole <laughs> life. 
And when I heard that, I thought, oh, like, what are they, like, just super religious people? I mean, like, people, people actually still believe the earth is flat. That's, this is just me, like, a year in Africa. And then uh, a few months later, I do the podcast again, and then Joe brings it up again. He goes, uh, flat earth theory. And I thought, and I said, and so he asked me, I think, what do you think of the flat earth? And I thought, and I know I said this on his podcast, I go, it's got to be some CIA psyop, kind of like Scientology. It's got to be like Scientology, where they're just checking to see how stupid people are. Like, the earth is flat? It's ridiculous. I'm like, I had an iPhone 4. I saw the picture of the earth, that blue marble, on my goddamn iPhone, my smartphone. Every day, that was the default. I go, there's no way you're going to convince me. I mean, like, it, was, it had to be CIA psyop. And then that's it. And then um, a few months later, like maybe less than a year ago, talking about, I'm going off on, on conspiracy theories in my class, in my jujitsu class, going off. I'm getting mad at people that don't believe this or that. I'm like, I'm like getting fucking crazy. And then some guy goes, I, yeah, I agree with everything you said. Have you looked into flat earth? I said, dude, please, please, flat earth. That's got to be the most retarded thing I've ever heard. You're like, no, no, that's too crazy for me. It's got to be the most retarded. Dinosaurs aren't real, but yeah, yeah, I'm like, please, <laughs> you're distracting from the real issues here that we have to deal with, the real issues. And um, so, okay, okay. And, and he, I told him, just please, zip it. <laughs> and then a couple months later, another one of my students said, hey, man, you ever look into flat earth? <laughs> and I said, I looked over him. And I, I, wanted, I was, like, angry. And all of a sudden, I just wanted to debunk him. I go, I go that is, that's, a, that's the dumbest thing ever. And he said, hey, listen, man, I got a master's in engineering. Look into it. You do the math. You do the science. And I'm like, dude, I'm no scientist. But I could prove that the world is round in one minute. So we're texting each other back and forth. I'm like, dude, come on, man. Well, what was it Why about the theory? Of, what was it about the theory that just got you? Where you're like, It's the Whoa. dumbest thing I've ever heard. The earth is flat. Yeah. And the sun is 3,000 miles away. But did you debunk him or did you No, I went home. No, I went home. No, I went home. And I go, I'm just going to find a picture. It's really simple. You don't, you know, all these people that are. are it's to, not really simple. Okay. It's not yeah. really. Simple. <laughs> yeah. No, it's simple. It's no, simple. it's not. That's I'm going to go. I'm going to. There's got to be tens of thousands of pictures of Earth from space. I don't need any science. I don't need an engineering degree. I don't need how to put numbers together and all this stuff. Just show, I'm going to show you pictures, many pictures, and I'm going to text them to you, show you pictures of Earth from space. So you, you go to Google and you uh, pictures of Earth from space, and you look at them, and obviously, like, right away, I thought, this is all, car these are all CGI cartoons. There, there should be tens of thousands of real, actual pictures. So then I started looking into it, and then I thought, and these pictures are coming from the NASA website, nasa.gov. I'm like, NASA? is in charge of space information. <laughs> Doesn't have and pictures. I, and I already thought, okay, NASA uh, faked multiple moon missions. Let's get you these believe, photos pulled up, something? guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he does too. Do uh, you, so you believe we didn't? Absolutely not. Oh, he my. thinks if you fly up over Earth, you're going to see ice walls surrounding a little Petri dish that's growing us. It's a grow up. No, well, okay, on, here's, okay, so here. Anyway, so this is what happened. <laughs> okay. So then I, I look into it. I dig more and more. And then again... There's Eric Dubé, again. I looked at, look, just watch his video. There's a, a video called, um, this best one is called The History of Flat Earth, and it takes you the timeline of how we decided the Earth was a ball and what, the, you know, why we did uh, a couple, few hundred years ago. It's, Eric Dubé breaks it down better than anybody. You listen to him talk about flat Earth just for But so why for don't we, minutes. why don't we fall off the earth at some point? Well, if our ship you got to understand the flat earth. I don't know. Listen. Or why there, if you're on the really flat quick, water and the ship course, disappears from view because it's going down. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to explain that. Right please. Now. But let me make it clear. There's no proof that the world is flat. It's just the people, uh, like, or, Eric, like Eric Dubé crushes the proof that the earth is round. Why aren't there any pictures of space? I used to have, I still, well, I probably threw them away now. Uh, unless they're in storage, but stacks and stacks of DVDs, space series, BBC, The Universe, Morgan. I'll, I would just take my natural medicines and watch over and over and just, and every now and then, <laughs> over and every now and then, I'm watching these space documentaries. Me and Joe Rogan, just space documentary after space documentary, over and over the same ones we'd watch. And every now and then I think to myself, 
It's weird that we're not watching any actual footage of space. It's all CGI. Oh, but that, but that's okay. And then we just keep watching and we keep. And then I, I think about that. It is kind of weird that. How the hell do they know what this? Looks, how the hell do they know that star and that galaxy are five hundred thousand light years apart? And then, and then I just watch it, and then I'm trying to remember everything, trying to be really smart. So when people start talking about space, I go, did you know the sun is 93 million miles away from the planet? <laughs> well, you know, I'm, just taking, I'm just taking this information. So now, as soon as I find out that these fake pictures of Earth from space, like, I don't know why there's, it should be any, they're coming from NASA. And then you look into it, and they admit it. They go, yes, uh, these are all C like composites, CGI. So NASA's not even saying they're real pictures. Why? And then... Uh, aren't, don't we have Hubble? That, why don't you point it at the Earth and get some awesome shots of where we live? How come Hubble's not taking any Well, if you follow the astronauts live? on Twitter that are up there in space, they're constantly tweeting out photos. Uh, um, you interviewed from the ISS. This is, I mean, all, he thinks it's all, fake. That's all. That's all. The ISS, that's all okay, fake. so the ISS isn't real. Uh, all, actually, it, are you able to pull up any of those scams. NASA... Here? Here's, 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 here's my scams. issue. It's all tax scams. They're just stealing money. Here, here's my oh, issue. Well, there is a there is a secret no, space so anyway, program. So with the flat Earth thing, really quick, let me just let me just end it now. I'm not saying the Earth is flat. Okay, you got to understand that the flat. Oh, oh, I got to answer a couple questions for you. First, like, why do ships uh, seem to go over the horizon? Right. Right. right? Um, it's the law. The of, Earth it's, is round. It's the law of perception. Everything coming from your eyes converges into a, a vanishing point. Yeah, but could that be the no. law of perception because we're on a globe? <laughs> no, no. And if we were on a flat earth, the laws would be different? That's what I've... Uh, that's what but I'm your perception, no, 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 let me finish. Your let perception me finish. doesn't matter no. if it's being recorded no. No. through no. a telescope. No. You could go on YouTube right now. You could pull up on YouTube. <laughs> and look, you, you could see... A, you take a camera without the zoom on and you videotape a ship going over there and it looks like it's sinking. It's sinking. It looks like it's, it must be going over the horizon. All you do is turn on the zoom and the ship's right there again. Well, eventually, though, it gets so far away. Well, eventually, when you can't zoom, when the zoom doesn't work anymore. Hmm. Explain that. that. I could prove that right now. Okay, here's so the... It looks you like can the explain ship, that with math, it, though. It looks like... The, well, no, no, no. But if you're saying the ship is... You're losing it because it's going over the curve, it doesn't matter what kind of zoom you have. You wouldn't be able to see it. That's science. So if you could zoom in and the whole ship appears again with the zoom, it didn't go over a curve. That's science. But you wouldn't, I'm not even a scientist. But you wouldn't be able to do that all the way to South America or something. No, who, but who knows? It, and you, you only know, you, you know until the zoom runs out. If you have, like, infinite zoom... You okay, we have telescopes that can see into space. They're I'm going to need someone to point that telescope yeah. no, at a ship saying, going over the horizon. All what I'm saying is, again... If, and this is why people thought the Earth was round. That's like uh, old physicists from like 300 years ago that were going, the ships, look, the ship, it must be round. But must, why, we must be on a ball. So look. So look, why look, didn't they ever fall look, off the, why yeah, didn't they ever fall off the Earth nobody believed that until people then. circumnavigated the planet. That's right. when they started to say, okay, wait, now we have to consider Why didn't you fall but, off but this, this the This is a flat way. Earth a model. You're, Which is flat, impossible. It's like we're in a, it's, it's like we're in a, Crater filled dish. with water. Here's the yeah. issue with this. But then why okay? did you ever hit the edge? Of you, the you ice wall. South Pole. You, that's South Pole. But there, there is no South, South Pole. But there is no South, South Pole. Is the edge. The outer there, edge. So there is, the is, the South South is no South Pole. So the, the middle pole is the North Pole. <laughs> the middle. The middle is the North Pole, and the sun and the moon go around like that. The middle is the North Pole. So anywhere you go south, you hit the South Pole, and you, nobody. But, but that's not the South Pole. It's just Antarctica, which is a sheet of ice that surrounds us. An Here's wall. the issue with this. Okay, now that's it right there. Wait, wait. Okay, let just me just because just because that that's that how you go around boy. the world. You have, you ask about circumnavigation. Except that doesn't work because you would have to have your wheel turning right. The no, whole because time. you that's would science. just go going straight lines. That's There's science. no math. There's no math. You'd have to have your wheel turn right. Though. Hey, I'm not saying I believe. It. I'm Bro, not saying you would have to have your wheel turned right, right the whole time. You would have to have your wheel turned right the whole time if the Earth was flat to circumnavigate. That's South Pole. <clears throat> but that's not the South Pole. The there North is no Pole South Pole. Pole. Here's the thing, man. I am. No, so anyways, listen. Your boy, your boy Dubay. Your boy Eric Dubay. Dubay. Go, go your, watch your Dubay. Your history your, of flat Earth. Look, that's Dubay on. is your, debunked. Your, your Dubay cover in your room is a nice guy. And, and you know what? Look. I, honestly, I don't know the guy's stuff. I'm sure it's great. I've looked into this I don't myself. Know the and I'm honestly I know, I know NASA. And but look, look, NASA faked the moon landings, <laughs> every one of them, and that's where all our information is coming from. They all that shit should be under a microscope. There's some Not truth like, nah, to that. Nah, nah, it's real. Nah. 
space but just because your boy just because your boy has done math to disprove what he thinks is the current belief of the globe or the measurements and everything okay so so maybe we've got the measurements he could be wrong. wrong he could be so wrong. maybe that like yeah. you said maybe the earth is bigger than we think maybe it's smaller so exactly. just because he disproves something in the common understanding of the globe and the math doesn't mean that it's not round doesn't there's mean different that it's ways flat. to calculate the same like equation this. think about it like this now and i'm i'm interested to see the flight patterns thing that you were telling me about i'd be interested to see that but still even even let's say that all these flight patterns show how they all avoid the north pole they all avoid the south pole magically they're all just going around the world around the equator instead of going north and south oh, so you looked into it a little bit let's i've i do i told you i looked into all this stuff man I'm the eric dubay though he breaks it down but, listen, but, but listen, also though. it's also there's, there's an electromagnetic listen, field going Going that from the north change. and south, that would if mess the with the was flight flat, patterns. Though, if the Earth was flat, all of the navigation systems that are used, all of the geolocation and all of that would not work. It would fail because all of those measurements are based on a sphere. So all the measurements and all the stuff they plug into the plane oh, and all that stuff. Apparently it's all based on a flat plane. And it's not basically. So then, okay, so, so then, it's so like then a flat dome pilot, that goes like this. Every pilot ever is behind know. it, too, then. So you've got to get every pilot that's ever flown no, a plane. No, they don't have to be behind it. They just follow, they're just following like they're. Okay, well, the only time I could ever just, uh, and I. It was, I don't know. It was I don't when. Know. Have I mean, you guys. They're, they're, they're looking just, at the wheel. Have you guys. Going right. I've, I've talked to pilots personally. Have I've you guys seen the show? Some of them don't think chemtrails exist. Okay. There's no it exists. Have you guys seen Westworld? Exactly. Have you seen Westworld? No. Okay, so in Westworld, where they go to the. To the simulation, Westworld. the Westworld device, and they're looking at it, and they're looking, and they're going, oh, well, we, we need to change this over here, and so they're looking into this world. That is the only time I was ever saying, okay, I see where the flat earth people, because then, then we're living in a simulation, and we're basically, you know, it's like this don't. This Do you crazy, recall the scene yeah, I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, this is the crazy thing is. Everybody will uh, entertain the possibilities of, man, what if we're, we're scientists, are saying that we're in a, we're simulation. In a computer simulation. Everybody's like happy to look into that and the information. Like, fuck, oh, that'll be cool. We're a computer <laughs> simulation. But when you bring up that maybe we we've been lied to about what we're on, no, oh, that's fucking. You're wasting my time. You're wasting my time. And like, oh, what are you gonna go watch Game of Thrones now? You're gonna watch some fiction and you're gonna it, op have an open mind and look into it. Everything that we, all the pictures and images from space are CGI. None of them are real. Isn't that a, a shitty detective would go? Wait a minute. None of the pictures from space. Okay, are but real. you got to explain we that do have another level. Okay, but Isn't now hold on though. Coming so from I, NASA. Hey, we do have I, some pretty I, look, amazing look, telescopes I'll, I'll, and photographic I'll, capability I'll to be able to, to, real to not there. have CGI Earth. Show, show me. I'll give you that. No, 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 no. He, he he earns a Did point there. Did we find there. any NASA real pictures? This. NASA admits that their photos are pretty much all fake and everything. But at the same time, they do live feeds from the ISS that they never admit are fake. So there's semantics there. But again, <laughs> man, you're you're talking about. I mean, this is beyond just, okay, a government that's run based on blackmail and, and, and pedophiles and all that. You're talking about now you've Why got would they people lie that raise families the like pilots, people and engineers that are designing these telescopes. What about all these satellites they're claiming that are going up to space? Where are the waves going from your cell phone? Listen, when someone brought up flat earth theory to me, like I told you, I wouldn't even ask those questions. I was just like, dude, you're retarded. <laughs> so the fact that you're at, you're at, you got some legit questions that need answers... That's why you need to watch History of Flat okay, so, Earth. Okay, so, so, you, so you think that everything, okay, so everything that comes, how it. about this? How I about can't this? explain it. But so all, you, I, all I know is I don't trust Try to explain. Wait, so, so wait. I don't know if the Here, Earth is flat. I don't know if it's okay, round or flat. You don't know. I don't know what we're on, but I'm looking into it. Uh, so, so wait, why, outside, don't you, why don't you offer to be one of Tesla's first uh, people that he says he wants to fly civilians? Into space. Remember, why don't you I'll go? go with you. From, who is why the guy? Go? I'll go with you. The guy that owns Virgin America. Richard Branson. Yes, that Branson. guy. He was talking about it 20 years ago. That he's going to space flight, and then and now Elon Musk is talking about it. The, let me tell you this right now. I'm going to make a prediction. That is never going to happen. That is never going to happen. No one's going to. Elon Musk, dude from Virgin America, couldn't take nobody. He owns. What happened to that? That just faded away. Yeah, you know Lady Gaga said, like, offered to yeah, be the well, first. He mom. looked into it. Try to. Where do I apply for this? And they said, You better sit your ass down because you ain't going into space. Nobody can go into space. Nobody's going into space. You, so all so the you images, don't think the astronauts the, have ever been in space? All of the images coming from space. You think are no real. astronauts They're have? CGI. So what are we looking at then? What do I in my telescope? <laughs> what am I looking at when I look at stars and like weird, I don't know cosmos and stuff? Weird. When you look, when you even look at planets, they're like look like a light. 
It's a light. Okay, again, light. my brother-in-law works for NASA. He help, He works in like the jet fuel area. I don't know what it is, man. There's some it, there, whatever the sun is. I don't flat Earth. That's, that's fake. fake. That's all fake. <laughs> This is live, isn't it? Fake. This is a live feed, isn't it? It's a live feed. Yeah, this is a legend. That's what they tell you. That's what they yeah. tell you. It's moving. That? See, the I don't believe shit coming from them. They're a bunch. Of, they fake moon landings. So, so what are those they satellites? Fake, so you're gonna believe that? What are the satellites up in the sky then? Are they fake? No too? one's all of them? never. There's no pictures of any satellites in the sky. But you can what see you it with your eyes. Yeah, there are. You can see a satellite. You can Look see it telescope. with your wait, own wait, wait, eyes. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Show me. Show me a, a video of a satellite in the sky. Have you ever been to like? Hey guys, pull that video have you back. ever yeah, been like to Portland go. or like Montana? Like, all right, so that's what I'm saying. So it's just all no, fake. No, you, no, no. Have you ever been? Okay, even Northern California, where there aren't, a, there's not a lot of light noise. Somewhere like Portland, Montana, somewhere where there's, you can actually see the stars. West Texas, yeah. you can see the satellites with your naked eye. They're not okay, UFOs. Okay, satellites are supposed to be the size of a bus. You can see them. Okay, okay, look, look, satellites are supposed to be the size of a bus. A, 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 a 747 is the size of five buses. And when they're 30,000 feet in the air, you can barely see them as a speck. You think you're going to see a bus that's 100,000 feet a, or a couple miles in the air? Yeah. Couple miles? You can see yeah. why? Wait a minute. You're going to see what? There, there, there's, they have a, a lamp on So you them? think they're UFOs? Listen, 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 listen. Real quick, let me repeat myself. Okay. A, <laughs> listen, 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 a satellite listen. is the size of a bus. Not all satellites have a universal so size. What do, no, but what that's do we the see? average size. Okay. It's like they're like a bus. Okay. The International a bus. Space Station. Yeah, okay, let's is just huge. say let's let's say let's say that satellites are the size of a seven forty seven, okay? Seven forty sevens fly at an average altitude of thirty thousand feet. You can, you, they're like a speck at 30,000 feet. How high do you think satellites are supposed to be? So, and you're telling me you see them with the naked eye? That's yeah. not science. You so then what the is, <laughs> so then what? So you're telling me that the satellites have like this beaming light? Come, what are they? No, they, yeah. they're gonna, not a beaming light. Satellites have a beaming light? No, they don't. from the ground? They don't even oh. have a light. You can, yeah. you can see them. What, what's light? Why do they need all that what am I seeing? So what are we seeing? That's what I'm saying. So what is it? Where are they what is it? Okay, again. A plane is at thirty thousand. No, 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 no. How about this? A no. satellite is a no. couple hundred you know thousand what? feet. Listen, and you're telling me you could see it because yes. it has a beam of light coming out of it. That's how you can Why tell the difference they waste between us. energy on having listen, a beam of light. If you ask anybody, it doesn't have a beam of light. I don't. What's the, illuminating? You don't even need the light. No, you, you do need the light. light because, you can listen, see it. That's how you tell the difference. That's how you tell the difference between the satellite. Then what is it? Any problem? What is the meaning of light on the satellite? My brain hurts. They're going to the difference between the star and the they're going to have all that energy, and they're going to have a beam then of Then what is it? Coming out of a satellite. Eddie Bravo, millions of people out there who have seen satellites with their naked eye want to know Maybe then, even built what is it? Sent him up. Uh, how can you see a bus 200,000 feet in the air? All right. I don't know how. how, how hold on, hold on. They're not that see? far out of the Earth's atmosphere. You can't they're, see they're, a plane We're not going anywhere. Feet. This is a dead end. Let me, let me bring I this. I can't believe I can you've never seen this. a satellite. I have seen this. Mr. I, have I actually, block at the sky all the time. I've actually seen this no, with I've my bare eyes, I've never, Eddie. I look at the sky. And you have to go... Listen to you this. have to go where there isn't light noise. Listen to this. You have there's to go. Satellite. You have to go yeah, where there's. The sky. Yeah, and they orbit too. That's the other no... thing. You can see yeah, they they're orbit. all lined up. They're in a perfect line. I, they go in a straight line. line. That's how these cell phone how satellites work. How is that? Because it just moves like this, slow and steady and straight. And you can see how they're all lined up perfectly in a sphere. That you okay. know, that's how they work. All but 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 we're not going anywhere. You may be right. Let me say this. So let me go to this. I may be wrong. But, but who knows? That could just be them in a circle around the flat Earth. I so challenge I you to look in the know. sky next time you're somewhere where there's no this? light I'm noise. just curious if there's any explanation in the flat Earth theory for uh, you know space debris coming into our atmosphere. That is something I've seen asteroid fields with my bare eyes. I've seen asteroids enter our atmosphere. The rock, you can see it break up and basically explode in the atmosphere. I've seen this with my bare eyes multiple times. What is that? Then? That's Zeus throwing a rock into hey, the listen, flat Earth. I'm not saying the Earth is flat. I'm just asking questions. And NASA is not to be trusted. So anything coming from them, I'm going to investigate. You and I, I think listen, it's smarter, you and I, you and I. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're going to circumnavigate the world starting from the South Pole, and we're going to go all the way around the North Pole, I, I and we're going to end up back on the I South Pole. I think you need to make a... Then what was the UN treaty? Let's go together. You can't go, you know, you... And then we're going to blast off... 
we are going to circumnavigate the earth and debunk this or prove it once and for all. I think that's an excellent idea. But you know here's what? the thing. You know what you can do? This is what you can do. This is how you prove the world is, is round. Get on a plane, find some billionaire guy, and fly over the Antarctica. Fly over it and go around, go around and fly over it. When you can do that, then I'll believe it. Okay, and if somebody's, but I need which is, It's been done. But There are people out there right now who have no one, the capability to, to take us. So then, so then all the satellite images are fake. Of what? Of Antarctica. Antarctica. Is it CGI? No, I'm, ask, well, I'm, I'm asking you, is, is it, it CGI? fake? If it's CGI, <laughs> is CGI real or not real? CGI is fake. So okay, you're saying so what's that they're the all fake. What's the question? So Antarctica All the isn't... images of Antarctica and the theories now that the center of it is melting, they actually think there's like a spaceship under it now. They're not even Where sure if it's that a piece from? of land. Government scientists? Huh? Government scientists? Whoa, 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 I thought we were questioning everything here, Eddie. I don't know. All I'm saying is that information. I was showing you. Remember the other day? I was showing you. I was yes. looking at Antarctica. I found what looked like a spaceship buried in the ice. That's fake pictures of Antarctica. Oh, so that could be, be anything. Fake. Like what? No, but Antarctica. It could be you. anything. Yeah, you said it in me. You could. Uh, yeah, anything could be anything. Just because you go on the outer edges of Antarctica. I okay. Mean, no, I understand. That that I understand. Fly, that doesn't disprove. That doesn't disprove your flat Earth theory. And but if there was an ice wall, wouldn't we see it? I think even if we had eight, eight more hours, bring we would up not... ice Antarctica ice wall. <laughs> bring that up, please, and we non CGI. Will... Do you want the like, non CGI? Just like Game of Thrones, you're gonna love it. Make sure it's ice non -CGI. okay in Game of Thrones, but in real life, it's not okay. I don't watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> you could pull up. You could pull up ice wall. Uh, I feel like we could talk about this for eight more hours and still be going round and around the flat earth. Just like the sun goes round and round. So somehow gonna, you don't see it from the other side of the We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. And I just want to put out, you know, one last call to that's, that's anyone fine. who wants to take us on a trip to circumnavigate the earth and debunk and find this ice fly wall. over Antarctica. Or if someone would You'll like to take us me. on a flight I'll go with you. to fly and will you over go Antarctica. With me on a rocket ship. Straight up. No, no, no. On a plane. Look, there's the ice wall. Look. It's a glacier. <laughs> the ice wall. <laughs> That doesn't, oh my God. So, okay. Shows, get so another you picture. could another picture. just walk right another over picture. it then. <laughs> so you're telling me on the other side of that looks like maybe, what, 60 stories of ice that you, I'm going to see another Petri dish of a human growth o o organization going God, on. that'd be amazing, look wouldn't it? it? There it is, Flat Earth. Come Eddie on. Eddie Bravo's, Eddie Bravo's no, no, right. Now look, honestly. What like, is that? What is that? <laughs> what do you what mean, is that? It's a bunch of How ice that's fake floating now? on the ocean. When I say pictures are fake... It's I not fake. It's find another one. A, one a, a long shot, though. That's just one. Can you find one? There's a long yes, angle. Yes, find, the, find the one of that being a 10 miles. million feet long, please. That's yeah. the angle yes. that we need. Totally. I would say that whoever does take us on a flight or a ship to circumnavigate, this is what you're going to have to be listening to for the entirety <laughs> of it. But please, like, look at that ice wall. Look at that ice wall. That's not an ice wall. Let's that's make a, this that's happen. A this would be the biggest video yeah, ever. Guys, look. What is that? Well, you can see the edge of it, bro. What are you talking about? You can see the edge of that. The edge yes. of that. The edge of the, the, the glacier, water the frozen goes, piece of ice. it's going that way. Oh, my gosh. It is going that way. It I looks think, like it's a right angle. Is, you said, where's the ice wall? We show you three pictures of the ice wall. That is not an <laughs> ice wall. <laughs> That's like I'm showing you that Tower 7. That is an seven. ice plateau. Yeah, I'm showing you videos, different angles of Tower 7 collapsing, and you're going, no, it's fires. That's <laughs> fires. Miss said it. Office fires. Miss said it's fires. I believe it's fires. <laughs> Miss said so, okay, it's fires. So then, okay, so, so, so then are those, those photos of the ice wall are real then? They're CGI. Are they real or not? What do you <laughs> think? CGI. If they're real, then why didn't they just pop their head over that and look on the other side? Why haven't you taken a trip to Antarctica no, or Alaska no, no. or anywhere yet? So now you're talking about an infinite plane. Yeah. So now it they're... Could be okay. I don't know. Okay. Right. okay. This like, is science. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I want to see the Petri dish that is growing the other human growth. I want to see more fake pictures of space. I, I can draw you one. I just I don't this. even know. I guess... We should end it there. We didn't really come to any conclusions, but I think we can conclude that it is very important for everyone out there to ask questions and be able to debate their friends about things that, frankly, none you of us... believe whatever you want. I'm just, yeah, I'm just even... really curious. Just don't believe the government, right? Can we agree on that? Most of the time, <laughs> exactly. probably don't believe the That's all I'm saying. Yes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we will... Any we will... information <laughs> coming from the government, you got to... Uh, be suspicious of it, and you got to break it down and reinvestigate, reopen the files. That's a smart thing to do when yes. you're dealing with criminals. Saying, oh, no, they wouldn't do that. Criminals? A criminal? No detective would go, ah, he wouldn't do that. You should when absolutely. Criminal, nah, he wouldn't do Why would he do that? Nah, he wouldn't do that. Uh, the worst detective in the world wouldn't even think like that. Right, which is why, you know, 
we should definitely tolerate we should yeah. definitely tolerate conspiracy theories yeah. and on that note i think we can all agree to, to disagree so we'll <laughs> thanks for watching hey you know what <laughs> i have a feeling if when i come back you guys are going to be flat earthers i bet we'll when see. are you coming back He's going to wait until he sees me tweet on Twitter, okay, maybe the earth is flat. But the, uh, the one thing is, <laughs> no, we're going on the ship. We're going on an expedition. More open mind it is my world. dream. I would shut people up. It is my dream to be Magellan and You're circumnavigate my, the earth. My mission over here. Well, but here's the thing with me is, I've been there. Way better than I've me. been there before. You can teach so me jiu-jitsu on the and ship. Every, and every, you know, you know why you know why flat earth is so big? Because every, everyone has the same story. No one ever goes, yeah, the earth is flat. Oh, cool. I believe that. Everyone says, shut the fuck <laughs> up. Everybody, when, anytime <laughs> you want, you, 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 there's a new uh, conspiracy theory host. They have the same story that I just told. The same, everyone has the same story. When I first heard about flat earth, I thought it was the dumbest shit Ever. I thought it was a CIA psyop. It must be some kind of distraction. You, it Every, is clearly it is a psyop. Exact same story. Everybody, no one just believes it right away. I was way worse than you guys. Well, it gets people fighting about stuff that no one can really prove, rather than focusing in on what's actually going on on our planet it's, it's with the actual chemtrails and the frequency exactly. control. Exactly. So there I'm you going. go.